Hi, I'm Trevor Bending from Optics Planet. One of the most important decisions a hunter is gonna make coming up into hunting season is what scope do I need to choose? And you know, really an important question in there is what magnification range do I need to choose? There's a lot of different scopes out there with a lot of different magnification ranges. And I'm gonna explain a little about each one right here. So starting off, we have a low end magnification. Here's a 1.25 to 8 uh, magnification scope. This is a Bushnell Elite. Anything low power is good for larger game at closer distances. So if you're gonna take a large moose, if you're in Africa and you're on safari, you're gonna take that Cape Buffalo. Larger game at closer distances, below 100 yards, below 150 yards, this would be an excellent choice for you. So a two to seven or a 1.5, 1.25 to eight scope like this, perfect for closer ranges and larger game. Next up, we have probably the classic. We have a three to nine by 40. Three to nine magnification is gonna be perfect for almost anything you can do as a hunter. You can shoot at 50 yards, you can take that buck down at 300 yards. But it's a perfect magnification range for medium to large size game, anywhere from 50 yards up to 300, even a little bit beyond that, depending on your skill level. So you have a three to nine, it's a classic out there. Anything around it works good as well. If you have a two and a half to 10, anything like that, be a perfect choice. That middle range scope, it's an ideal choice for most hunters. Now, if you're gonna stretch that distance a little bit more, you're gonna want a little bit more magnification. That object's gonna be a little bit bigger to you. So here we have a four to 12. A little bit more than that three to nine, but a four to 12, if you want to stretch the distance out to 400 yards, sometimes you're in the plains and you're gonna take an antelope at 450, 500 yards, shots like that are made and a four to 12 can help you get out to that distance. So a four to 12 or anything around there, three to 15, that's gonna be really good for stretching the distance or shooting a little bit smaller game. If you're gonna take you know, a jackrabbit, you're out prairie dog shooting, you know, you're gonna want a little bit more magnification. And that's actually why we step up to the next bigger guy as well. Here we have a five to 20. So this is a higher magnification scope. For most hunting of you know, medium to large size game, this is a little bit overkill, but if you're a very, very long distance shooter and long distance hunter, this might be a choice for you. But a high power scope like this is ideal for varmint shooting, prairie dogs, rabbits, anything stretching out there, or for smaller game. So if you have small game, varmint style, and extreme long distances, a five to 20 or a six to 24, that's gonna be an ideal choice for you. So when it comes to rifle scopes, you have the low end, you know, the one to fives, the one to eights, big game, small distances away. And then you have the high end where it's great for varmint shooting, uh, longer distances, smaller targets. And then you have those classic four to twelves and three to nines in there too for good for most anything. All right, now going over to the binoculars, it's a, you know, most of your time on a hunt is going to be behind the glass while, you know, you're glassing with binoculars. You're not going to be behind the scope scoping around. It's going to take uh, too much weight. You're holding that rifle up. That really gets to you. So binoculars are probably the most important optic you can really have for just scouting around. And there's a few different choices you can go with. Personally, I like to keep it small, throw it in a pocket. So I have an 8 to tw eight by 20 right here. So an 8 magnification when it comes to binoculars on a hunt, in my mind, is perfect. I can scout out to six, seven, eight hundred 800 yards plus. These are nice, small, and compact, but I prefer an 8X because even when you start staying behind the glass for a while, your hands start shaking. You don't notice that as much when you have an 8X. This is an 8x20. The next step up would be like an 8x42. So a larger objective is gonna let more light in here, but once again, I have an 8X magnification, 42 millimeter objective, but still great. I don't have to worry about my hand shaking as much. Now, if you're really gonna be scouting long distances away and you want a little bit more edge and magnification, Here's a 10 by 42 uh, binocular. So 10X is gonna give you that more magnification. You will see a little bit larger for a little bit further distances, but the trade-off is when you have a larger magnification sizes, when you start getting the hand trembles, and if you're sitting behind the glass for a long time, it's gonna start shaking, you'll notice that in the view a lot easier. So I prefer to stick with the 8X, but an 8X or a 10X is an ideal choice for any hunter. All right, as you can see, you have a lot of different magnification ranges, all for different purposes. If you ever have a question, feel free, you can give me a call. You can find all these on opticsplanet.com. I'm Trevor Bending. Thanks for watching.